Hey, I'm excited to talk to you about pressure independent control valves. These are valves that automatically adjust for pressure disturbances in the system. So regardless of where your valve position is, it's sending the correct flow through the coil. It's not overflowing the coil, it's not underflowing the coil. It eliminates the need for balancing in the hydronic system, and it really increases the efficiency of your heat transfer in your coil. So we have, we have two models that we offer. We offer the valve valve version, pressure tap ports to make sure you have a minimum delta P across the valve that allows that pressure regulator to operate. Our valves are serviceable in the field, so if there's any problems you encounter with the pressure regulator, that can be serviced. You don't have to remove the valve and replace it. So again, this is our ball valve version. This is our linear valve version. You see it's a very small package. This will be available in a half inch and three quarter inch size. The way you adjust the maximum flow on these is you simply remove the actuator and you can set your maximum flow on these valves. These can be factory preset, shipped to you the way you need them to be. They come with a linear actuator and this actuator while we use it on our pressure independent control valves, it's also an actuator that's, uh, I would call it a universal terminal unit valve actuator. This will work with any linear valve um, that has an M30 thread. You can pop the top off of it, and you can select whether you want zero to 10 volts, five to 10 volts, four to 20 milliamp uh, control signal. So you have a lot of uh, adjustability there. You can also tell it to be direct acting versus indirect acting. Um, and whether you want a linear control curve or an equal percentage curve. So let's talk about the actuator options we have with our ball valve BP140s. So we have a full line of spring return actuators and this allows you to do on off control, floating control, or proportional control. And then depending on whether you want to close on or close off, that's how these will be mounted on the valve. And we also have our non-spring return option, which are these M94 and M9104 actuators. This again allows you on-off control, floating control, or proportional control in a non-spring return fashion. So I've said a, a lot in a little bit of time. If you want more information, check us out on our website.